Hey, what's up everybody, it's me again, I welcome you back on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you three simple takedowns from a clinch, but most important part is discussing three small fights in a clinch and how important it is to win everyone in order to take your opponent down. So, you ready? Let's get right into it. We will start by discussing importance of three small fights in a clinch. Losing one out of those three can make you significant trouble in your clinching game. As you can see on the video, those fights are fight for head position, hand control and underhook. This is ideal position to be if you wanna go for a takedown. However, if my opponent is able to win hand control and hand position, now he is in dominant position and I am not able to take him down even though I have underhook. This is ideal position if you wanna untie the clinch or if you want to play your stand-up game. So if you are winning all three small fights in a clinch, it means that you should succeed with a takedown without bigger problems. On the other hand, if you are controlling only underhook and your opponent has good wrist control and head position, it will be very difficult for you to succeed with a takedown. Now let's take a look at the takedowns. We will start from the position where we are winning all three fights. The first thing I want to do is take my opponent's knee out by lifting it with a step inside as you can see on the tape. What I want to do is lift his leg upwards and at the same time break his posture and drag him to the side. If he doesn't react and let me lift his knee up, I will throw him to the side. It is important to have grip as you can see here and press it very tight before throwing. From this position, I will just twist him to the side and finish the takedown. Right here, you can take a look at the execution of the takedown a few more times. There is also second variation in this takedown. We will start from at the same position as in the previous one, but instead of body locking his torso, I will switch to ankle and pick it up as you can see here on the tape. There is also a possibility lift your opponent's leg a little bit higher with a kick in it upwards with a similar movement like a Uchimata throw from a judo. Now let's take a look at a second takedown which is called body lock outside trip I guess. As in previous one starting position is pretty much same but here I am waiting just for the moment when my opponent places his feet back on the mat. As soon as his feet will touch the ground I am going for a takedown by switching to body lock and breaking his posture to the back as you can see on the video. Just keep in mind that in this case we are waiting just for the moment of landing opponent's feet on the ground. Here you can take a look a few more times on the execution of this takedown. And small detail, always when you are doing this takedown try to keep your ear exactly on your opponent's chest as you can see here. So 
So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, show me some love and hit that like and subscribe button and I can't wait to see you again. Thanks for watching and see you soon.